right now at 6. A D.C. business owner impacted by crime reacting tonight to a massive new crime bill, while 7 News asks each and every city council member whether they'll support it. Does Maryland's former governor have his sights set on a White House run? The recent job change fueling talk of a 2024 bid. Plus, a local prosecutor seeking help in turning up the heat on juvenile offenders. How and why certain offenses could now be classified as organized crime. We begin this hour with our forecast. A gorgeous evening in the DMV. Just take a look at this time lapse of the sunset behind the Capitol. Skies are calm tonight, but we could be in for some changes starting tomorrow. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist Veronica Johnson is in our first alert weather center. And VJ, you're tracking two more weather makers. Uh, that's right. And we've got the one coming tomorrow. It's going to bring a lot of rain. And then next week with the colder air, we can get a little wintry mix on Tuesday. Let's talk about the first system though now, because tomorrow this time we'll start monitoring the area for flooding. A flood watch will go up at 6 p.m. Friday and stay up until 6 a.m. Saturday. Look at the areas if you're in it. D.C., Montgomery County, Howard and Anne Arundel, down through Prince George's and even Charles County, south and west through those areas of fair facts toward Rappahannock and Culpeper and even Spotsylvania County. Flood watch means we'll be watching for just that flooding to occur. We've got a saturated ground. It's our third wettest January now on record with over three inches of rain and we could get another inch. And look at all the other advisories across the nation from the same storm system. The ones in brown a wind advisory and we will have some wind with this system. We will have wind continuing through Saturday. The area in red, Iowa, the Midwest around Chicago, Minneapolis, that's a blizzard warning. There's the storm system. So tomorrow there could even be some airport delays for areas like Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis and down toward Memphis and even Nashville. You got family coming into town again. Could be some delays. I'm back in a few moments. We'll talk about our forecast for this evening and how long at least the nice weather can last. All right, well, stay tuned for that. Thank you, VJ. Tonight, police are investigating whether icy conditions led to this serious crash that injured two Loudoun County Sheriff's deputies. We're told the deputies who were on motorcycles were hit by a teen driver this morning. 7 News spoke with a neighbor who rushed to help. The first. It's so close. It's almost here, almost Friday. So tomorrow morning, we'll start out cold, 20s and 30s pretty sunrise too, but by the time we get to sunset, mm -mm, cloudy and rain starting at about five o'clock and then a cold weekend, rather blustery too with that wind alert on Saturday. VJ, those words made me feel so good almost Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. Join us back here at 11 o'clock. Have a great night, everybody.